Hi, I'm Al, and this is a video. So what I'm gonna be doing today is I am going to try and see if I can beat an extreme demon in a single day. Now, what I mean by this is that I'm just gonna play this for the entirety of the day. It is at the moment 6 p.m. Uh, so yeah, I have a few hours to try and beat this. I know this isn't like a huge deal for a lot of people. I know a lot of a lot of people can beat multiple extreme demons in a day. But as for myself, I have never done this before, so it's like a personal challenge. So the level that I have chosen for today, Thanatophobia. It's a really really cool level. I really like it. So yeah, what we're gonna be doing we're gonna be i'm gonna be recording the first practice run here then i'm gonna be practicing the level on my own time and then i'm gonna be recording me trying to beat the level so let's see how this goes um i don't really have any like expectations for this really on one end i know that this is gonna be a really hard challenge considering it's well it's an extreme demon so obviously it's gonna be difficult but at the same time it's like what if i'm actually capable to do of doing this Anyway, before we start the video, please subscribe if you haven't already. It would mean a lot to me. We are halfway to 100,000, so any support you guys give me means the absolute world. Anyway, enjoy the video. So, I don't know. I just... I was watching uh, my good friend Lake play this level. Which is why I decided, hey, this would be a fun challenge, right? Oh, that's the wrong thing. So, I was watching Lake playing this over on Twitch on her Twitch channel. And I was like, huh, this looks like a fun challenge that I could do, maybe. Okay, that's a weird click. I'm not sure how I feel about that click in particular. It's not like terrible or anything. It's just a little awkward. Cool. Let's... We've gotten to 46%. So far, this isn't like too bad. I'm thinking this is pretty easy so far. Hopefully, it remains around this difficulty. That way, it's actually possible for me to do this. I don't think this is going to be like too hard overall. But so far, this looks like a fun challenge. Some of these, some of these clicks are really finicky. That seems like a very specific click, actually. That timing looks hard. Like, very hard. Oh, that's smooth. That's really smooth. This is... I don't know. I, I, I'm not sure how I feel about this part. It's smooth, but I'm not, like, 100% sold on how... How do I hit that? I, I, I can't hit it properly. Help. This part is gonna... This part, I can already tell, is gonna give me a lot of attempts. Because this part is hard. This this part right here is ridiculously difficult. I'm not sure how I feel about it entirely. Like, I don't know. This part just feels odd to me. This part I really do not like. I'm very not a huge fan of 60 to 65. I feel like this part is definitely going to get better with time. But so far, this part is like easily the least enjoyable part. And much, much harder than everything else. How, why am I Why am I going up there? I'm supposed to go there. That, that, that's so weird. That's such an, oh, an awkward timing. Okay. Cool. Um, that is... That was a decent first practice one. There are a couple tricky parts, but other than that, I don't think this level is, like, too overly difficult, honestly. I think this is gonna be a fairly easy level to go through. Um, hopefully I get through this in 24 hours, or, like, a day. But yeah, uh, I'm gonna go practice level, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, so it's 10 past 8 p.m. I've been on this for approximately two hours, and I feel like I've practiced it enough to a point where I can try and beat this. Um, this is a fun level. This is a very fun level so far. Uh, there are a couple choke points, that being the very beginning of the drop, which is 46%, 56 is the choke point, and 63. Those are like the main choke points at the drop. And then the entirety of the pre-drop is a choke point, but essentially... It's not too hard at the beginning of the or the pre-drop, but it's like very butt clenchy to put it that way. I think the pre-drop in this is like very reminiscent of Accu, where it's not like hard, it's just like butt clenchy because there's a lot of like awkward and weird timings. But other than that, I feel like this is a very fair extreme demon, honestly. This is a very fun one. I've actually enjoyed learning this very much. And I think a lot of you guys will enjoy it as well if you want to try it out definitely a recommendation from me i haven't really played it from zero so i can't really say if i'm gonna be enjoying it the entire way through but so far learning this has been very fun and none of the parts are like bad by any means ah oh, we got 11 percent. i'm gonna be dying to that red orb in particular a lot that red orb, orb at 11 percent is gonna be like my main death point once i start passing this uh ship section every attempt because it's really really tight that red orb timing is i would probably say the tightest timing in the entire level uh in my opinion at least some people may disagree with that i think it is because it's hard that timing is ridiculously difficult and it comes very fast at you like this ship part is very slow melancholy and just relaxed and then you get to that cube part and it's just immediately just thrown out of it you know yeah i'm dead 
But other than that, I feel like this level is very fun. I'm actually very pleasantly surprised with, with this. When Lake said that this is around Accu difficulty and arguably just as fun, if not more fun than Accu, I was not convinced. I wanted to try this. That's where this idea came in because I don't want to play Dolos a lot more. Uh, fuck that. So I decided to try this and I'm very pleasantly surprised. The gameplay is very difficult, different from Accu in every sense ever. Pretty much overall i find this level to be very same in the structure you have a very slow beginning with a lot of like finicky timings and then you get to a drop that is very technical but yeah basically i'm just gonna be grinding out attempts here in the beginning until i can start getting to the drop once i get to the drop i feel like i'm gonna be making quick progress of this but i just have to get to the drop first i do think that the pre-drop is the hardest part of this level uh more specifically around the 20 to 38 area I found really difficult. Well, other people think I have no clue, but personally, I found the 20s to 38 to be like the hardest section, that little 18% 18, 18 segment right there. It's an odd part, but it's not like too bad, you know? Overall though, I think this level is rather easy. I've invested like 1,800 attempts maybe, which for many people might be a lot for a level like this because it's not that difficult. But for me, that's very, very low for an extreme demon. I think the lowest amount of attempts I've used on Extreme Demons so far out of levels that are currently rated is probably Allegiance with my 3000. So maybe this may be my new fastest completion in terms of Extreme Demons. That would be cool. Well, let's keep dying to the fucking first ship that is. Jesus Christ. I clicked. Come on, dude. That's a lame death. That's a really lame death. But we're making quick progress though, so that's fine. Oh, come on. 1% better, really? Is that what I'm doing today? Jesus. Boo. Boo. I'm approximately 6% away from getting to the drop. And from the drop, I can literally fluke to 100. Or I can die there 10 quintillion times like I normally do with uh, levels. You know? The usual. So hopefully the usual is not the case this time around, and I can actually beat this win the first day, day that I play this. But but you guys know me, that's not happening. Oh yeah, if you think I am capable of beating this in the first 24 hours that I'm playing, or actually until bedtime. So like, if I can beat this within the first six hours, subscribe to the channel. Also, thank you all so much for 50,000. It really means a lot. We're halfway to the 100K. I really appreciate all the support, guys. Love all of you. Hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification so you don't miss any more uploads, because I keep uploading banger videos like this one every other day because I'm cool and I have nothing else to do with my life. No, oh, come on. That's such a lame death. I could have been fine with dying later, but that, bro, that's just disappointing at that point, dude. That's just straight up disappointing. Oh, come on. Really? Dude, I'm not going to be able to make it past this part, am I? I'm just not going to be able to make it past it. I'm just going to keep dying. I'm going to die to the to the blue orb at the end here as well. I'm just going to be annoyed with it, you know? I told you! I'm literally going to die to each individual click from here on out. Holy shit! <sighs> Didn't I just say I was going to die to that as well? Holy crap, can I stop? I'm so bad. <laughs> I died immediately. How the fuck do I do that? Oh, ho, ho, we're making quick progress. Jesus Christ. I can't believe I missed that. I could have fluked that from 45. Jesus Christ. That would have been so sick. But of course, I had to miss the red orb. I passed like the hard shit, like the, the click at 63. But I, I missed the, the red orb right there. If I would have hit that, I could have very well fluked the entire level. That would have been so cool. Man. Lame. Very lame. Man, got 63. That's fine though. I kind of expected that one. I'm surprised it didn't die there the first time. So yeah, we just gotta keep on chugging along. <laughs> I 
74. Ah, oh well. That's whatever. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. That is very annoying. I don't know why I died there or how I died there. I genuinely have no clue what the hell just happened, but I died. But at least we're making progress. At least we passed 63. It's 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 annoying to die to that, but it's whatever. Five times to 63 though is still really really painful. stuff good stuff good stuff that was i don't know I, I can't tell if that was fun or not i really didn't like playing it from zero it was really fun to do runs on but i i, I don't know dude i don't know that was a weird experience the first 15 percent of this is ridiculously fucking frustrating the fact that i kept dying to 63 and i kept dying to like 45 46 was really annoying but you know oh that's satisfying that is very satisfying. Anyway, I managed to do it. I beat an extreme demon in a day. More along the lines of... Okay, so it took about 3 hours 50 minutes to be a level. Uh, awesome. A Thanatophobia was a good level. I like it. I think it's a good level. It's a very good first extreme if you're looking into the extreme demon market. Go check it out if you want to. I found it pretty fun. Though it was a little bit of a drag to play from zero because I don't like the first ship very much. Uh, but past 16% this level is ridiculously consistent. So yeah, go check it out if you want to Anyway, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video If you did like comment subscribe all that jazz you guys know the drill by now follow me on twitch twitter and on instagram Those are my main socials on twitch right now I'm probably live with dolos or something else if you're watching in the future. I stream Wednesday through Sunday 10 a.m. EST now that European summertime is over uh, but 2 p.m. Uh, European Central uh, anyway, yeah, I'll talk to you guys later. Remember to eat your greens. Bye, everybody.